Valder, how hey, you Valder, doing? how you doing? Well, good morning. Thank you, and welcome to Dallas again on the Valder Beauty Show. Yes. Good. How you doing? Been a while. I'm having a fabulous life. How you guys doing? Good, Great. good. Well, good. I've got a DVD here. Uh, it says Hell's on Wheel, and it says that this is your complete second season. I'm impressed, guys. Yes. Thank you. Yes, the DVD and Blu-ray is out for Hell on Wheels, and we're very excited. It was a great season, second season, and the third season is even better. So that's what we're filming now, about to finish up, and it'll be premiering August 10th. Well, I don't know how I can get better than that first season, but I'm going to take your word for this, guys. I yeah. want to let my audience know I'm speaking with Common and Anson Mount today. And thank you so very much. If I could ask you, Anson, I had a lot of grief the last time I interviewed you. I'm sorry, you, you, got, a, you got a lot of what? Your, grief. One of your fans said I didn't pronounce your, your name correctly. And so they gave me a lot of grief, grief on Twitter for a couple of days. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, well, you're not the only That's one. Okay. People, people me it. mess up my name all the time. Worth it. Hey. But, they, but you but got it right now, about it. Yeah, you got it right now. You yeah, got it right cool. now. It's cool. Okay, sounds good. Tell me about, Anthony, if I, we'll start with you, and then I'll go to Tom, and tell me about Hell on Wheels, the second season. I, I thought one was riveting. I thought it was life-changing, you know, an ex-slave and an ex-bean guy, because you're real mean, Anthony, on the show. <laughs> but you know you have issues. It, 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 but it got better the second season, you think? Absolutely. I think the show has just gotten better every season. I'm convinced that the season we're shooting right now is going to top second season. Uh, what do you think? Yeah, I definitely, this, this season is... I'm really proud of what we're doing this season. I think the writing, I think the story, the stories for each character is very interesting. I mean, we were just discussing the script and saying, man, this is a great script and great writing. So, you know, for us as actors, it elevates everything and we want to bring our best. And this season is, is really going to shape up to be something incredible. I really believe that. Well, I'm impressed with your show because there's so many characters, but yet your writers are able to give us um, a one-on-one -on -one with each character where we really understand the character to a certain degree. And that's hard to do. It's very hard to do. I, 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 I'm glad that I'm not in the writer's room and that I get to be in the Alberta and out back on, the, on my horse and, and shooting a gun. <laughs> I think it's a, lot e it's a lot easier. Yeah, it is. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, Common, tell me some, some of the intricacies of your, your character and tell me what you think is unique about your character. Then I'll ask, answer the same question. Well, I think that Elam is a unique individual because he is an individual that thinks for himself. Um, coming from being a slave to, you know, which is really being owned by another individual and having to succumb to whatever their wishes are, you know, overall, it's like, you have to fight to, to really keep your individuality, and you see that in Elam, and you see a person that believes like, hey, love can exist, and in doing this times, and, and he's in love with a white woman that was a former prostitute, you know, and, and he feels that they can have happiness, and you know, that's a big stretch during that time for him to even think that, and, and just the things that he, the goals that he has in life and where he wants to be, I think is a very unique, take on on what we've seen you know black people from that time be so i love elam i love the character and i i think he's growing this season there's some really great things going on in his life all of it is not good but it's great for story i've had a really good time uh, i'm sorry go ahead go ahead no go ahead i've had a really good time playing a character who's dealing with post-traumatic stress disorder in a time before that was a diagnosis uh and to play somebody who is dealing with that through an addiction to conflict, an addiction to violence. Um, that's been great. And now this season, he's in a place where he's hit rock bottom. And at that point, you either die or you, you, uh, you, you find another way to live. You, you have to reinvent yourself and who you're, what your identity is outside of conflict. So it's been good taking that down the rabbit hole and then back out. Well, this has been a good show. I've learned a lot, and I learned to, uh, uh, to look at a new way from both of you. One, you, Anson, where you say post-traumatic stress. I'd never looked at the character like that. You know, I just call him mean, but I knew why he was mean. <laughs> well, but now you're giving me a 21st century way to look at it. Well, that's when, that's, I think that's when television is at its best, is not when, you know, I had a friend that worked for the, for the White House, and he, he said that he hated the West Wing. And I said, well, look, you know, a TV's 
a TV show's job is not to be a documentary. A TV show's job at its best is to exist as a very long form metaphor for who we are and where we are right now. And when our show is at its best, I think that's what it does. Well, you guys are at your best. And Tommy, you have given me a new insight of thinking to way black men had to try and survive after slavery. Yes. I, mean. I knew it was hard, but you give us an inside look to show us how really hard it was. And I really commend you for that and the writers. Well, yes, definitely. I mean, that's why I salute and, and give honor and respect to our writers. And, and from the creators of the show to, to the writers we have now, they really have dealt well with, you know, with our characters. And especially, I have to say, for Elam, I really feel they have respected him. And, and, and I have to, I, I revere and have a high respect for him. And so thank you for that. Well, thank you. And I got to ask you real quick, are you making any music? Because you're so busy with Anson over there. I don't know if you're making music. Yeah, well, Anson's making music. Uh, Anson, I had Anson <laughs> help me out with some raps last year. So I might, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going to be able to make music because Anson can help me on, on a couple of lyrics. But I am working on an EP that's coming out soon and a, and a new album. But, you know, I'm very excited about the DVD more than anything and the, and the new season of Hell on Wheels premiering August 10th on, on AMC. It's Saturdays now, y'all, so you can watch it. That's um, 9 p.m. That's right. You Eastern. guys have a new night. So we're so excited, and we'll be watching you on Saturdays. And hell on wheels, and we can't wait for the new season. But until you get the new season, folks, you guys can get a DVD. Go to ValderBBShow.com, click on email Valder, put in Anson or a comment. Hey, I'll take both. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank Thanks, you, Valder. Valder.